Welcome to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. My name is Christopher Witecki. Well, Happy New Year to you, Your Majesty. It is now 2012. I am back from a hiatus. It wasn't a break, though. We were doing a lot of work. You were, too. I know with lifestyle. The Sun in Capricorn was all about lifestyle. Actually, in the last two weeks, I've been working on the new Guardian Agency, and I just want to lay it out there, what we're doing. Uh, you know, our strategy for 2012 is to be there for you weekly with the horoscopes. We've got some other stuff in development I'll be announcing later as far as TV programming. We've got a lot of uh, writers coming on board. We're really ramping up to be there for the light workers, to support the light workers, and to support our core audience, you know, those who will be introduced to this stuff for the first time. But on a moment to moment, helping you out in reality, we have the Guardian Agency. The whole strategy of this is to help you have the information you need at the time you actually do it, at the time reality unfolds. And it's working. People in the agency are telling me that their life is improving, that they're more aware of each moment, that they're avoiding drama and unnecessary emotional bursts because we're there 10 minutes ahead of time telling them, hey, you got a little transit coming up. The other thing cool about it is now we take your date of birth. We did before, but now it's plugged into the system. So there are certain things, Saturn returns, uh, certain conjunctions where we're texting and going, you yourself, your personal story, Peter, is about this and you need to be doing that. So check it out. It's at gatextme, gatext.me. See, I said, oh, GA text me, GA text dot me. All right, so the royalty of the zodiac. Well, the sun in Capricorn was not easy. I have to admit, I have a Leo rising, so I was there along with it. My voice is still kind of uh, ricocheting off of the transit. It was about health and lifestyle, <clears throat> stepping into a new moment, stepping into a new work regime, stepping into a new way of living in the moment, step into a new way of managing your moment. Now with the sun moving into Aquarius, we are shifting to the I give, I receive energy. That is relationships. How do the royalty relate? Well, they tend to relate like Aquarius is, which makes a lot of sense because Leos are so loving, there's so much gravity. When it comes to relationships, it's really about innovation and constantly keeping a perspective. That's what Leos need to do. Let's take a look at the planets and we'll get started with this story. On Monday, we kick it right off. It's Lycast Day, all right? So we're gonna kick off the LTR uh, transit. In the next 30 days, the Aquarius energy for you is figuring out relationships, what is fair, what's not fair, how much do you give, how much do you receive, how do we manage that? And in chapter one, it deals with only your mirage. What's your mirage? Your marriage to yourself. You will die with yourself and your spouse will not be there. At least not after the light, the lids go down. <laughs> It'll be you and you traveling to the light. The me ridge, the relationship with yourself is the most important. And on Monday, if you've not been nice to yourself, it could be a sappy emotional day. It kind of depends on where things are. Jupiter rules the day, so infinite possibility is there. If you have been with us for a while, Soul Guard, you know we always encourage a light cast ceremony. Fill your heart with love and visualize the way you treat yourself and visualize the partnerships you draw on that echo that. Okay, that's how it all works with finding your true love. So Monday is a gushy day, it's light cast day, and it's super sentimental for you, your majesty. Tuesday, shift hits the fan. Uranus rules the day, so there will be breakdown. Likely breakdown around the way you treat yourself, okay? Or you'll have to innovate the way you treat yourself. Now you can be on top of this ball, and you can be looking for a better way to treat yourself every second, a better way to talk to yourself every second. But Uranus might cause a breakdown, no matter what breaks down with whoever, it's really an echo of how you treat yourself. So on Tuesday, we're having a breakdown, unfortunately. The other thing that kind of stinks about Tuesday is Mars over there. You see Mars on the other side of Earth? Mars goes retrograde. Now Mars has been putting a lot of masculine, testosterone, energy in the Leo vibration to raise your prices, make them money, build the whatever, manifest, manifest, manifest. <clears throat> And when Mars retrogrades, you're going to feel like the wind got knocked out of you. You might have a project that goes sour. You might have the two combined, a relationship tied to money goes sour or has a problem, right? Mars retrograde is just saying Leos are going to have to uh, come up with this energy on their own during the retrograde. It's not that you can't go forward with finances and whatnot. It's just you're going to come with your own energy. Also, 
with Mars retrograding, think of it like the tide. You're going to have whatever is due to you from the last direct come in. So you should have what's due and the, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the rewards of your efforts. But when it comes to making money or being productive, you will have to muster and find the energy because Mars has been there and you're used to it and you'll feel. You'll know what I'm talking about on Tuesday. So Tuesday, relationship breakdown and Mars goes away. Not so much fun. Wednesday, things get more chill. The moon does finally shift into Pisces. So it moves out of relationships, and but it moves into trust and intimacy. So if you have trust intimacy issues, you're going to be very guarded on this day. Plus, Mercury ruling the day makes you very cloudy. It's really about figuring out, well, what went wrong? What did I say wrong in the relationship? How did I treat myself wrong? What did I, why weren't my thoughts there defending myself? It really is the processing of the breakdown the day before. You might also be thinking about money since Mars also deflated as well. And I also want to point out Jupiter. Now, there's this big force with Jupiter. Jupiter and Taurus, which just went direct, it's now one degree. It's going to push really strong in your career. So if you're having money issues, if you're having relationships issues with career, don't sweat it. Jupiter is saying, hey, as long as you keep an open mind and an open heart, career is going to take off for the Leos. Now this is actually, I don't know if you saw this, but when I was on hiatus, I came out with these videos called the Act 1 videos. Uh, these videos are uh, a very deep uh, investment for each of 12 sides. Sit down for 15 minutes of cases and get on January, February, March. And one of the big topics I talk about with Leos is Jupiter, how this is for the first time uh, in 12 years, your opportunity to get it out there and expand your career. So um, if you didn't get an Act 1 video, they're only $4.95. So go invest in yourself for crying out loud and get one. We ship within 24 hours. Um, okay, <clears throat> so Thursday, no matter how you're feeling, things perk up. It's Love Fest Day! That's because the moon will cross over Venus in Pisces. Now remember, Pisces is uh, God's service energy. It is literally... Uh, compassion energy. So this is self-compassion pouring in. If you've been hard on yourself, this is a healing day on Thursday. Um, this is a great day to connect with someone else. It's a great day to reconnect. Great day to heal something. If you ended up fighting in that breakdown breakthrough earlier in the week with an LTR, this is a day where you can kind of heal it. So Thursday is a healing day. If you're part of the soulguard.me community, you know that what we're going to do is tell everyone we love that we love them. That's our tradition. So we'll be all over Facebook and on the mothership and everywhere else. But Love Fest Day is a day of healing on Thursday. Some good stuff there. Friday, if it's been a hell week, Friday things chill out. The moon moves into Aries. It does cross Uranus in the beginning of the day, so, um, but this is all around your, this all for you plays out in your belief structure, this area of space. So um, you might have a holy shift moment, something might, oh my God, but at least it's in your mind, it's a belief. You might realize that something you once believed you can't. There's an emotional tie here because it's the moon, uh, but it's not going to be horrible. And the moon moves out of Pisces, so you're not feeling so vulnerable which is a good thing. And it's kind of also Neptune's ruling the day, so it's, it's a weird day. It's spiritual, it's kind of cloudy, but if you were really raw, it's over. One thing I want to point out that's also over, Mercury up here, finally moving out of Capricorn over the weekend. So no more thinking about your health, no more thinking about your lifestyle, no more thinking about your mistakes. Finally, we can get our thoughts onto something else. It'll be obsessive about relationships. <laughs> it was better than your health. I mean, I don't know. So anyways, uh, that's good news for Friday. Over the weekend, pretty simple weekend. Remember, this is about you and how you treat yourself. On Saturday, it's ruled by Saturn. So Saturn Day really is Saturn Day this particular week, and you're going to be making decisions. What are you deciding? Well, what things need to change in relationships, primarily in the way you relate to yourself. That's number uno. So if you haven't gone over your self-mirrored stuff, don't even talk to me about your boyfriend or girlfriend, you know. And also, what do you want to step away from in your bigger relationships, although those are going to be covered in chapter two and three. Mostly, it's how you treat yourself, what you tolerate. If you're in a bad relationship, you're being a jerk to yourself. Look at what you're tolerating, okay? It always comes down to ourself, like it or not, uh, Your Majesty. Worry about the planets later. So Saturday, you will be making decisions. Sunday, <clears throat> you'll be kind of uh, acting on them. On Sunday, we want to take action those decisions. So uh, put it into action. Decide you're going to do it, we'll do it. And with the moon in Aries, you're going to feel strong, but you're, gonna not, you're not going to take things too seriously. It's really kind of a learning weekend. Be a great weekend and get away, although I don't think you'll be able to, just knowing kind of all the other planets. But it's a great to get away intellectually, to watch a movie, give yourself a little break. But whatever you decide when it comes to the way you treat yourself, you act on it on Sunday. Show the universe you are serious. It's going to be all career when we get back next week. 
All right, Your Majesty, that's all I got for this first week of 2012. I think it's going to be a swell year, personally. Soul Garden is here for you in many ways, and we'll be back in seven days. They do not plan to go away. And remember, check out GA at GATex.me. All right, Your Majesty, I'll see you in seven. Till then, live, love, be.